So even when the village shaman would try to call down the vengeance of the moon upon his enemies, he was still a snappy dresser. <laughs> now, I hope that some of these native artifacts are going to inspire some culturally diverse costume choices this Halloween. What's inspired for me is a nap. Oh, I miss naps. The dreaming, the snoring, the drooling. Since when did you give up drooling? Oh, naps. Here's a sight for scary eyes. According to native legend, an ancient warlord would use this mask to bring to life the fighting spirits of his army. And the warlord's warriors would don the furs of wolves and bears. And then, do you know what would happen? Animal rights groups would protest? They smell like old carcasses? No. The natives believed the warriors would turn into actual wolves and bears. Oh, scary stuff, eh, kids? I saw that you were sleeping, Rory. I was just pretending to sleep. Oh, great. Well, now you can pretend to stay after class and clean the blackboards. It seems like I'm doing this for real. I don't like giving real detention, so I, I try to turn them into imagination time. It, uh, it helps me manage my guilt. Oh, uh, don't touch those artifacts. Okay. Mr. Warlord Shaman will touch everything. babysitting because I need money. No, you're not. This is our first vampire Halloween party. Well, if I explain it to Ethan's mom that way, I'm sure she'll give me the night off. It was going to be great. Maybe, but not as awesome as the night where I dressed up as butter and you were salt when we did the popcorn dance in the theater. to cheer me up. I am grumpy. What's wrong with it, Erica? She keeps grumbling about popcorn prices. Uh, I told her I couldn't go to a Halloween party with her tonight because I have to babysit. I wish I could just have fun tonight. No offense. Yeah, I feel really bad about that. Hey, I'm having a party later tonight. Uh, you could babysit that? You're having a Halloween party? Yeah. Sure, why not? Because it'll just be the two of us. That's why. Are you seriously trying to tell me that we don't have a dozen friends with ready-to-wear costumes and no Halloween plans? We invite the mathletes and we're halfway there. Aw, you really want to make Sarah's night, don't you? I just don't want to ruin her night. Anyways, we could at least invite Rory. What? Do you remember what happened last time? I'm a caveman, I'm a caveman, I'm a caveman. Oh. I'm a caveman. I'm a caveman. And that wasn't even a costume party. I'm sure he'll be better this time. I still think that's better. Dang, yeah. So, I'll be home by 11. Have fun with your friends. And don't forget to take Jane trick-or-treating. I can't forget what I never remember. Wow, do all of those Dust characters really talk like that? Yeah, especially Jake Word. He's thoughtful. 
And very handsome. But you hated all that stuff. How come you're dressed like him? Hey, Sarah. Who are you dressed up as? I'm Rochelle from Dusk. Oh, I see. Okay, well, have a good time, guys. See you, Mom. Jaquard, huh? You should really pop the collar. Much better. Yes, better. So, what's your name? Beep, bop, boop, boop, beep, beep, bop, boop. Or behold, Insaniac, the crazy supercomputer. Super! Hey, pretty cool party, huh? Insaniac has been beeping at me for 20 minutes. To be fair, he does that even when he's not in costume. Look, I know this isn't the night you had in mind, but try and have some fun. Go and dance with Finjo over there. The costume doesn't even make sense. If he's a fish, how is he supposed to breathe on land? Finjo's half dolphin. They breathe air. What you should be mad about is that plastic sword. Not authentic. Arriba! Who are you supposed to be? Well, I couldn't decide between Merlin and a Mexican wrestler, so I picked both. Say hola to El Merlo Loco, the wizard wrestler who combines the best of the arcane and the insane. Hey, White Chapel, are you ready to party? <laughs> oh, compared to the therapist's traditional vampire Halloween, it's starting to sound like a blast. Yeah. I can't believe you got us kicked out of that party, you goon. Sorry. <laughs> this is the worst night ever. I can't believe I'm going to do this. vampire night. Rory got us booted. He wouldn't take off that stupid mask. So, where is he? He was following me, so I threw him. I'm not quite sure where he ended up. Oh, I'm glad you're here. Party is way under control. At least I can have fun with you. Yeah? Great. Do you know where I can set up my meditation blanket? Your what? That's how we celebrate the true vampire Halloween. Have any candles? No. All right. Huh. The green ones don't taste as green as they used to. Mm. Hey, you're supposed to take me trick-or-treating. Let's go. Time is candy. Okay, okay. Don't get your whiskers in a knot. Can I come with you? Girl, Ella won't stop flirting with me. <laughs> Dude, she's flirting with me. That's it. Sarah, I'll be back in a bit. What are you doing? If we're doing this, I'm going to break my record. 11.28 pounds. <laughs> Mom? Meow? Oh, what a sweet little mouse. Huh? Here, dear. <sighs> oh, my. Children certainly are getting tall these days. Uh, are you sure you're not too old to be doing this? Uh, let me get my glasses out. Oh, uh, no! I'm ten. I, I love recess and balloons and that cartoon about that bouncy thing. All right, then. There you go. <laughs> Thanks. That's really cool, but you're going to chop somebody. Take it easy. Why don't you beat these nerds? Are you serious? What? 
That house is a candy gold mine. Their fun size bars are actually fun. You have 14 pounds of seed mints. A record's a record. Eric, I need. What are you doing? Trying to meditate. Can you come downstairs for a minute? I can't. I have to commune with my inner predator, or else I won't be cleansed enough for. Chapter 3. But I seriously need a hand. The nerd fest down there is getting a little rowdy. Since you put it that way, no. Can you keep the music down? That's ten houses. We got enough yet? I want to find Benny and get back to the party. Yep, good enough. I'll be sick tomorrow for my shirt. Ugh. Oh, man. I thought the seeds would be the worst part. It's clearly the mint. Now open your mouth and say, ah. Oh. Oh, I said, are you ready to party? Indeed. Now take two gumdrops and call me last night. Hey, Kevin, want a seed mint? What I want can't be found in all tomorrow's yesterdays. Wow. That's a really good Dr. Wen impression. Somebody's a fanboy. I have to go. I'll be here any minute. Don't leave yet. We're going to order six feet of pizza from Pizza.